What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here, with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Intel HD Graphics 630, which are of course integrated graphics. It has 24 unified shaders, it uses system RAM as VRAM, because it's an iGPU, and it has a burst frequency of 1100 MHz in my case. I'm also using the latest drivers for it as of the making of the video. As for CPU power we have an Intel Core i7, which wouldn't cause us any bottlenecking problems. I also undervolted it by minus 100 megavolts. We also have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Although 6 GB should also be enough for the game that we'll be testing today, or even 4 GB if you have an SSD, which I certainly don't have as you can see. As for operating system I'm using Atlas OS 20H2. You can find a full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be testing today is Fallout 4 as part of an old request from the Intel crapper and N2840 days. Shout out to the person who made the request still. And yeah, now let's get straight to the point. So I will first test the game at 1080p, which is my laptop's native resolution, and the lowest settings that Fallout 4 allows us to use by default. In my last video I tested Fallout New Vegas, and it was getting 60fps almost all of the time at 1080p low. However Fallout 4 is newer, and therefore far more complex. So I'm curious what the Intel HD Graphics 630 are going to do this time around. Okay. So, this is, um, yeah. This is not good isn't it? But you know what? I was expecting a far worse slideshow than this. In fact I think it's impressive that the Intel HD Graphics 630 are running Fallout 4 with double digit FPS. Even at full HD 1080p. Someone with really low playability standards might even think the game is very playable with these buttery smooth 12 to 16 FPS. So I don't see what are the complaints here. Not only is it really playable cause it's running at a buttery smooth frame rate I guess. But it's also looking crispy like a toast. Thanks to that big full HD resolution that we are using. Now let's see some action. You might be noticing that I'm not aiming properly. It's not because I have the aim of a 5 year old kid. It's just that I'm struggling to aim properly with these FPS. It's giving me nausea guys. So it seems like you shouldn't play Fallout 4 on these Intel HD graphics at 1080p anyway. Even if you have crap playability standards. Oh for big boat's sake you Alright, 
So now that we saw how crispy and smooth it was at 1080p, let's see how it fares at 900p. Okay, so this unironically does feel smoother than before for sure, although I'm certain at least many of you might desire more than these FPS, but like I was saying before, it could be far worse than this. Let's also see how I fare against the Deathclaw creature at 900p, now that our FPS are a bit higher. Well, at least I could defeat the Deathclaw now, so yeah, that's Fallout 4 at 900p on the Intel HD Graphics 630 for you. So now that we found out how Fallout 4 runs at 1080p and the less popular 900p, I think now it's the beloved resolution of 1280x720p's turn. Damn, this is a cinematic experience right there, I think this is actually quite good now, well, quite good if you are a low-end gamer, but it's an impressive result. And remember, this isn't some high-end GPU, no, this is Intel HD graphics, and yet this is playable at 720p, like, how could you not be impressed by this?
overall, I'm speechless guys, 25 FPS at HD resolution, definitely playable. Still, let's see if we can squeeze out even more FPS from Fallout 4. Now, for lower resolutions than 720p, we will have to run the game in windowed mode, because we just aren't allowed to use lower resolutions at full screen mode. Like, I don't know why Bethesda decided to make it so that you have to play their game at windowed mode if you have a potato PC, but a. Eh, so now we are going to benchmark it at the really weird 1024x640 resolution. I will also lower the desktop resolution before launching it, to make the game window bigger. You know what, I think we might be able to touch that 30 FPS average. This is a PS4 slash Xbox One experience guys. The PS4 and Xbox One also run this game at 30 FPS. So the Intel HD graphics 630 are providing a console experience right now in Fallout. Well aside from the fact that these graphics look far worse than the console ones especially with this bizarre 1024x640 resolution. But who cares about graphics right? Gameplay is what matters the most. As predicted, we indeed touched that sweet 30 FPS average. Okay, let's see if we can get more than 30 FPS, cause more FPS is always better. So after testing it at 1024x640 or whatever, we are finally going to run Fallout 4 at the lowest resolution that Bethesda allows us to use in their game, which is 800x450.
Well it seems like this is the most FPS we can get. You can actually get even more FPS with some tweaking. Even though in this case we don't really need to do low end config tweaking and stuff like that. Many of the people who are watching this video most likely have weaker Intel HD graphics. Like Intel HD 4000 for example. Or perhaps a really trash dedicated GPU and CPU combo. So I'm obliged to show you how you can get the most FPS out of Fallout 4 on a trash computer. So stay with me. So, this is the mod that we'll be using to make Fallout 4 look like, um, Fallout 1. And of course to try to get as much FPS as possible on the Intel HD Graphics 630. I will provide the link to it in the pinned comment down below. Installing slash applying it is actually pretty simple. Step 1. Download it from the link that I will provide. Step 2. From the zip file. Extract the two files inside to documents. Fallout 4. You can also make a backup of your files. Step 3, which is really important. Go to your game directory, and make sure to launch the game. Not from the Fallout 4 launcher, but directly from the Fallout4.exe file. Otherwise the changes will be reverted, and that's it. Let's see how many FPS we can get with the mod. What in the actual hell? We are now getting solid 60 FPS. Holy crap dude, but look at what happened to the graphics, like, the shadows look, like they are struggling to maintain their existence for example, now, there are still some small drops from 60 fps, and damn look at that draw distance, if you're wondering which resolution we are running now, it's 640 by 480 that's the resolution the mod makes the game run at, and the best part, it's full screen. So we don't have to lower the desktop resolution. Also the HUD is now blue instead of green. Yeah, there are definitely drops from 60 FPS, so it's not a constant 60 FPS experience, but I mean, you couldn't ask for much, could you? I was expecting this to be a total disaster, I was thinking this game would run like absolute crap, and yet, it turns out, you can run Fallout 4 on Intel HD graphics with decent FPS, that's insane. Thank you.